Coco my peace. Hello my loves. Mahabahavete. We got it today. So today I am here to talk about some very overpriced products that have been bringing me lots of joy and so I thought I would share with you guys. Um, it's sort of almost the holiday time so why not talk about some splurge um, products that you might want to put on your wish list or treat yourself with um, since we made it through another year. I feel like even if you don't celebrate Christmas, so I don't celebrate Christmas, but the holidays just bring around a spirit of celebration and if nothing else, let's celebrate that, you know, all the joy and all the success and all the accomplish accomplishments we've had in the past year. Those are worth celebrating, don't you think? So what better better way to celebrate them with some beautiful brushes? So these are the Tom Ford brushes and I now live close to a Tom Ford counter. I'm scared, you guys. Um, mainly because I told you that if I ever got near a Tom Ford counter, I have a wish list like this long that I'm scared that I will actually go and try to like get a bunch of stuff off of. And then the second thing is I have zero willpower. So you get to a counter and they like talk you into stuff. I am the easiest target in the history of sales. And so I've been steering clear of the counters because I don't need any more Tom Ford stuff. But yeah, that might soon change. So you'll probably be the first to hear about it in a haul if that happens. Anyways. Back to the point, we're going to talk about these brushes. I have the covers on because that's the way I store them, but they're also a little dirty, so I thought I wouldn't scare you with dirty brushes right off the bat. What I'm going to talk to you guys today about is the cheek brush, which is a 06, and then the bronzer brush, which is the 05. The 06 was gifted to me by my very sweet uh, Rada or Patchouli here on YouTube. I will definitely link her channel down below. If you've been here for any amount of time, you know um, who I'm talking about, this phenomenal woman who just holds a very special place in my heart. And I just, I'm very thankful for her friendship and that she would think about me for something as amazing as this brush. Um, she raves about it and the fact that she sent me then one just means so much and makes me love it that much more because it has sentimental value to it. And then the second one that I bought, but uh, my sweet friend Frederica, who is on Instagram and has a blog, I will link her beautiful blog down below. Um, it was one of those things when I was still in Canada and they wouldn't ship them up to Canada, so I had to ship it to her and she shipped it up to me. So I'm eternally grateful for her. Besides the fact that she <laughs> did me a huge favor, she is a phenomenal woman with a really amazing um, blog. So I will link that down below. Okay, long rambly intro. Here we go. We're going to try to focus on these brushes. I use them both today um, for my bronzer and my blush. That's what you use a blush brush for. Like I said, they have the protective sleeves. So even if you have them sort of stored in a cup, they won't, you know... Um, hit into other ones and, and ruin the bristles but I also I feel like there's been a lot of dust in this new room that I have and so it's nice to have just I mean the top is open but it just gives them a little bit of extra protection from all that kind of good stuff so they are um, natural or goat hair and so you can technically use them with creams but they, because natural hair fibers absorb more product than uh, synthetic hair fibers a you're going to lose more product by using cream with it and then B, um, it's going to be really, really hard to clean them once you've used, used creams with them. But like everything, it's makeup and have fun and, and play with it however you want. So the white bristles on top and then this gold ferrule and then the wooden, um, pretty substantial handle on them. So I would say that basically the 09 or the bronzer brush is the 06's big brother. Um, they're basically the same shape, but one is ridiculously larger than the other. Let's start with the um, bronzer brush. I just tend to put, do you see that, like a little bit of product on the middle, and then I hope you can see in the demo, I just go to town blending. I like how big it is because it helps me. I've been really enjoying putting my um, bronzer as like a, a contour and then pulling it up on my cheeks a little bit. The shape of this is really lovely. And then obviously sort of uh, contouring my chin and then my forehead really 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 soft I've been having very sensitive skin recently and so even after you've washed these a couple times they still say stay so beautifully soft and they distribute powder so so beautifully uh, the brush blush brush like I said is its little brother so again this one's a little bit dirty because I do tend what I do is I'll put the color on one side and then place 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 and then turn it and then blend if that makes sense hopefully the demo showing but that what I really like about the brush is it's so fluffy and so big that you can place products, start to blend, and then as the, the color gets saturated, you can turn it around and then blend with the other side to really make it seem more um, seamless, you know what I mean? You don't have these stark lines. So yeah, I'm not going to call this anything on a rave because I love these products. The one downfall is the price. So this one's around $80 and this one's upwards of $100. Expensive, crazy expensive for brushes. 
Um, but what I can tell you for me as a brush lover, totally worth every penny. They make things go on so smooth. They're such a, like, they make it fun to put on makeup. You know, those, those products are just, they make you happy. Um, lipstick easily, I'll grab it and it'll make me happy. I don't need, like, a lip brush to do that. But these just make putting on my face makeup such a joy. Um, and they don't shed at all. They're so soft. To me, worth every penny. Definitely a splurge item, but something you might want to add to your, um splurge treat list whatever you may call it um and that is it for this open love letter to more brushes yes you could think i couldn't possibly love more brushes but i do um again i'm now in the land of charlotte tilbury as well and she has a whole brush range that i am trying really hard not to splurge on but who knows what's gonna happen so stay posted for all kinds of different uh, videos coming up. As always, let me know what you guys have been loving, splurge-worthy or not splurge-worthy, anything that's making you smile, makeup-wise, product-wise, let us know down below. Enable us together. Yes, maybe? That's a thing in English? Sure. So let's talk about three points of positivity. Um, my little brother, who has a channel, I'm sorry, I have an itchy forehead, uh, here on YouTube, I'll link it down below, uh, has been really busy with school and stuff, and so he hasn't posted in a couple weeks, but recently it uploaded a new video, and it's just, it's fun. I don't get to see him as much because we're so far away now. Um, any of you that know me personally know that, like, I've just been AWOL. Like, even organizing Skype calls, which didn't used to be this difficult, now that there's an ocean between us, makes things really hard. Um, so I've just been grateful to get to see his face again because I haven't seen him in a while, even virtually. Um, and yeah, that's definitely been the first thing that's making me very happy. Second thing is I've started a reading for fun book, um, list. Yes, that's the word. <laughs> I have no more time to read for fun, but I'm starting a list and I've decided that if all else fails, come Christmas break, I'm going to start reading and just like not leave the house all day, just sit and read. Okay, probably not, but still, you know what I mean. <laughs> so it's, it's been fun thinking about the prospect of reading for fun again. That has been making me definitely super happy. And then my third is the first book on the top of that list, which is called, it's just up there, Happiness by Design. Um, and I went to the talk, for, like the book launch talk. So basically it's the idea that you can design a happier life for yourself um, through things that don't actually take that much work. And I, the essence of what I took from the talk is the idea that anything that you do with your life should represent a moment of pleasure or a moment of um, purpose. And so the idea that if you're doing something, you're either enjoying what you're doing, um, you're playing with makeup, or or you're going for a nice walk, or you're eating a good meal, like a moment of pleasure, or a moment of purpose where it's like, okay, well, I have to go run 5K right now. It might not be the most fun thing in the world, but I'm doing it because I'm training for a half marathon. Or I'm sitting here doing hours and hours and hours and hours and hours of <laughs> reading, um, academic reading, and it might be exhausting now, but it's towards the better goal of having my degree at the end of the day. And if whatever you're doing is not because, like, in, in pursuit of either of those two, then let it go. And the fact that we have a hard time letting things go. And so I definitely think there are some flaws to what he's saying because... <sighs> It's a pretty privileged stance to say just let something go. There are things that we have to do that we might not want to do, but we sort of have to do them. Um, so before I pass any kind of actual judgment, I do want to read that book. And I have a feeling that that'll be one where I'll actually like, sit and talk to you guys just about the book. Because I think it's a really cool concept that you could sort of, with small adjustments, really make a huge difference to your personal happiness. So, um... That was a long ramble, but yes, that is definitely also something <laughs> that is making me happy now and think that I'll be happier in the future. There we go. <laughs> Let me know what's been making you guys smile recently down in that description box. No, no, the comment section. I want to send you guys tons of love. Thank you, as always, so much for being here. And as always, I can never leave you without reminding you that life is just too short to wear boring lipstick. Bye, guys.